he was much feared. Completed chapter four of four. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Oh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Not I'm enough. not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find Wrong out? Button. All right. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? I'm meant to press B. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why'd you put the hurt on Flycatcher? Were you hiding something down at the Tweedles? Or was it just for fun? He worked for them, didn't he? I couldn't be sure that he wasn't involved. And I didn't want him interfering. I was simply endeavoring to make the search a speedy one. Surely you of all people can't fault me for getting overzealous in the process. I don't buy it. Again, knock him out. I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. After I've knocked you so enjoy our talks. Ah. I wait with bated breath. After I've knocked you out? I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Oh, it's something. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. And a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh. He doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> oh, the irony. Later, Buffkin. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're. They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? <laughs> Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? I know where she's coming from, but... Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. 
I was thinking about yeah. it. Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Tug. Got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. See ya. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. I don't know. When I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Huzzah! I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Yeah. I want to see where he's ended up, too. And you will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. I had a funny feeling, kid, now. Start watching, Mirror. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. And looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Big Me, <sighs> we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Just show me where I can find the Crooked Man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. <laughs> I don't recognize the door, but that's the crooked man symbol on it. Hold on. It's moved. Yeah, back out. Door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. To the crooked man we go. I guess. That was one of those easy, a little too easy moments. Got chapter 5 of episode 4. Done.
The Gothic Bridge, Central Park, 94 Streets, Nights. Oh, Fable Towns in New York. Okay. There it is. Get there before it moves. Don't just stand there. Oh. And, oh, I'm just gonna kick it open. Whoa. Portally. Quickly just walk in. It's gonna go, ain't it? Oh. Sheriff, I'm not looking here to take you to the boss. Very tiny. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off tiny. Oh. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. So, how is Scrooge? I mean, Crane. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. I get it. You have a job to do. But you got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave. I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Tell him hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? <sighs> Seems I'm a nice guy. Thanks. <laughs> some kind of fucking joke to you. What did I tell you? Go ahead. You got a job to do. I already recognize one voice. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Where is he? Oh, it's one of you. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Yeah, a funny feeling Vivian would be here. Got me here. Let's talk. Oh, that it? I'm not going to find out who he is. Dracula or something? Next time on the Wolf Among Us. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. 
hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well. <gasps> Well, that was episode four. Uh, cheering for episode five, whatever that will be. How did you respond to the crooked man? Agree to talk with him first. Okay. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you for episode five. Bye.